up guys welcome back to another little summer vlog a little week in my life action this week i think is just gonna be another chill week uh my sister is coming tomorrow liz for those of you who have been watching the vlogs liz is coming tomorrow and i'm picking her up from the airport couldn't be happier couldn't be happier to see her oh my god let me show you my little set first how how cute is this little beach set like you're kidding let's see if you can get it like a better view look how cute it's like terry cloth i'm gonna go make a little smoothie and just get on with my day so i'll check in with you guys later okay so i saw a top gun the other day and i need to talk about it because it was seriously incredible like i was not expecting it to be that good i went in with very low expectations because i'm not really an action movie kind of gal and i knew that miles teller miles teller has always been a hottie ever since i saw spectacular now and he was in the diversion series like i've had my crush on him goes way back but what i was shocked about was that the rest of the cast 10 out of 10 whoever plays hangman oh my god like wow i was just sitting there like <laughs> eye candy galore like wow so yeah if, if you need a sign to go see top gun definitely go see it besides the fact that the entire cast was incredible looking like i was enthralled the entire two and a half hours like i was i just thought it was amazing anyway i'm gonna go enjoy my smoothie but i just wanted to tell you guys about my little Top Gun experience. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm off to go get my nails done and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bike ride there like a fit queen. I literally haven't gotten them done in like over a month, so let's freaking go and I'll show you what they look like afterwards. Recently I've been obsessed with open eye notes, so I figured I'd show you how I make my favorite kind. Super simple, all you need is a banana, oats, almond milk, and then the protein I use is this chocolate one. I just think it tastes good, but you can use whatever one you want. And then the secret ingredient, I swear, cinnamon. Okay, cut the banana in half because then you can use the rest of it the next morning and put it on top. We put the banana in the very bottom. You smash it up. I use one third cup of oats, a scoop of protein powder, cinnamon. I usually do around a half cup of almond milk. Usually looks like a little gross chocolatey mess. Tastes delectable. Then you put it in the fridge overnight. What's up guys? All right, so before I go pick up Liz from the airport, she's flying into Philly, but we're at the Jersey Shore right now, so I'm gonna go pick her up. But anyway, I've been in like the weirdest mood the past couple of days. Not the past couple of days, like yesterday, I feel like I had to stop vlogging a little bit because man, I was just, <laughs> I was really going through it yesterday. And sometimes I feel like it doesn't even like have a rhyme or reason. Like I think, I don't know. Like I think I just let my thoughts get the best of me sometimes. And yesterday was one of those days. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> fill you guys in on how I'm feeling. But I feel like I would rather be transparent with you guys. And now, like today, I feel like a lot better than I did last night. So yeah, 
And obviously I'm really excited to see Liz and she always, she, she definitely makes me feel like more of myself, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna put on a podcast. Jay Shetty is always like my go-to. So I'm gonna listen to probably his latest episode and I'll see you guys when I get Liz. Okay guys, <laughs> I have made it to the airport. I see her, I see Liz. There she is, she's got her Disney sweatshirt on. Oh, she's so cute. Elaine! Elaine! Hello! Don't even mind my sweatshirt. Stop, I already told them. No. I'm like, she is in her Disney sweatshirt. I know, you know what's funny? I was walking here, it's like, she's roasting me. Yeah. She's roasting me. How did me. you know? Kelly hates oh. the sweatshirt. Oh my gosh, what? Kelly did Thanks. so good, you guys. I was worried. Were you worried? Yeah, because I know <laughs> Kelly gets a little bit frazzled. She's a little, a little bit frazzled, but she did like, fabulous. She like, did so oh, good. We are in the cell phone lot. Yeah, because I was there. I was like, no, girl, come on over. Come <laughs> on over. Like, okay, guys, we are going to go sit in some traffic. Yeah. And I'm a bit warm. Were you a bit warm? I'm a bit okay. warm. How was your flight, Liz? Stop you, Liz. It's I really love good. that. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye! This is the book that I read literally last night. I finished, I started and finished this book last night. And you guys, it was a freaking wild ride. I am telling you guys, if you were in the mood for a crazy murder mystery, if you liked The Last Mrs. Parish, I feel like you are gonna love The Perfect Marriage because it is the same kind of intensity. It just captures you. It, you just need to find out, like I needed to find out who did it. And so I stayed up most of the night just reading because I was like, no, I can't, I can't fall asleep without knowing how this book ends. Also, don't mind my sunburn. You can like really see it in this lighting. She burns, she burns. Anyway, fucking crazy book, you guys. So the plot of this book is that the wife is a defense attorney and her husband is a writer and he has this house in like um, on a lake and that is where he meets up with his mistress and then one night he comes home around like 2 a.m. and then the next morning he gets called in for like an interrogation because the mistress was found dead in his lake house that night she is the one who has to represent him it is just a wild ride of trying to solve this murder mystery case it's juicy so yeah if you guys are in the mood for a crazy just like thriller this is this is it this i had no idea who it was gonna be so and like that's the best part because you don't want to read a book and then you're like mm, i think i know who it is and then you're actually right it's like that's so boring you know like you want to get to the end of a book and be like oh my god like did not see that one coming this was that book for me. I was literally laying in my bed like, oh my god. Anyway, any other summer summer reading recommendations that you guys have, please let me know. This is mine for you. It is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed, but I will see you in the morning. Place, it's about you from a ways My heart 
happy, is it Friday? Yeah. TGIF fam, TGIF. I have to wear a hat. <laughs> we are going out to lunch. We're, We're all in our little cute little outfits. Liz, I'll show Liz when she finishes her hair, but My hair's I was, I was gonna show you guys Liz's room, but it is a hot freaking mess. Well, because, guys, I like literally slept so bad <laughs> in the past two nights. Oh my God, Liz woke up and her eyes were so puffy. I literally was like, girl, do you want? <laughs> you can't you even want... tell, but they were not um, looking hot. That has kind of helped. We're gonna go to lunch. Oh my God, Liz is putting on a little cute little hat. Does it look better? Yeah, you do actually. I look like I'm really gonna go on a safari. Safari vibes. Cute, oh, wait, <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're gonna go, but I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>